Hey, it's Brett and Tom with Lawrence Systems, and this is Business Talk. And in order to continue to deliver positive results, we will be increasing your rates. Isn't that a great opener? I was That's reading a, a letter that we're sending to clients about rating. Great increase. opener. Oh, Brett really, not me. So <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the fact is, is that rates are increase time over time. Inflation happens, right? Um, there are a lot of people that in 2020 did increase their rates from 2020 to 2021 because of what was going on. There was a lot of cash, but there were a lot of companies that did. And I don't recall employees making less money in 2020 and 2021. I think they got raises still. Yep. I think that certain things happened. Costs for products increased, right, Tom? Yep, definitely. So why wouldn't you raise your rates? And why wouldn't somebody not expect, like a client, to, for you to raise your rates. It's something that happens. You're paying more for gas than you were you know, a year ago. You're paying more for groceries than you ever have. So food's costing more. Everything's costing more. And the big topic is, what should I raise my rates to? Or should I raise my rates? The answer is yes and yes. You should be charging what you need to charge to pay those employees to buy those products. Because let's face it, the RMM isn't getting any cheaper antiviruses aren't getting any cheaper. What are your thoughts, Tom? You know, one of the most just persistent questions I've seen lately is about the rate increase is how much notice you give your clients. Mm -hmm. And this is actually very, very key. If you don't give them anything more than a 30 days heads up, then you're doing yourself a disfavor. You're going mm -hmm. to cause some drama with your client. Having a clear path of communication, people understand. It, anyone that's in business understands that, hey, I'm paying more for something that I wasn't before. You know, we have a lot of people in the transportation market. They will yeah. tell you that the fuel costs and things like that are just constantly things they're dealing with. Even their insurance rates. We all know insurance rates went up. It's mm -hmm. just kind of expected. You're just making sure that you communicate it is one of those so key points. It's one of the reasons we open with a letter like that because, you know, we have to have some formal letter that we send to these people. But telling them plenty of time ahead is what allows them to fix it and put it into the budget. You even right. look at Microsoft for better or worse, they've decided to increase the rates of what they're charging for their Office 365 subscriptions. But how long and ahead do we know? Quite a bit. You know, this rule from large companies, even to smaller businesses is the same. Make sure you have clear line of communication to let people know the rate increase is coming and there'll be a lot more understanding to it. It's kind of an expected thing every year that this happens. So it's not when I see people asking, should I? I'm like, well, why wouldn't you? Did, did right. some incredible windfall happen? You created some incredible efficiency in your business that somehow cut all the costs by one half. Well, great. Now you can actually think about delivering a service for less money or how you're going to be more profitable, but that mm -hmm. just doesn't usually occur, especially in the more niche space we're talking about here and the managed services space of how we manage IT. We're dealing with ourselves. Insurance increases, just like our mm -hmm. clients are. We're dealing with tooling increases. Some of the tooling, hey, the price goes up, uh, not much, but a little bit, but that all adds up when you start managing many, many endpoints. So a small increase per endpoint or you know per license means kind of a ripple effect of, all right, this has to be compensated for all the way across the board. And as Brett mentioned, employees, uh, they don't mm -hmm. see progress if there's wages stagnate. They'll start looking around somewhere else. So if you're not giving your employees wages, do you really want to risk losing the talent? That's one way to do it. I've seen this happen. There's so much turmoil right here in 2021 in the mm -hmm. IT industry with turnover amongst employees is because they don't feel valued. They don't feel they got a raise. And it's just a calamity of things that if you don't manage it, you'll end up on the losing side of it. <laughs> It's actually a big problem right now. You, you know, we've we've got friends in the industry that um, have hopped around to different different places and 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 have they're making an, a, a really good income now, but somebody else wants to offer them half, you know, double that or a lot more exponentially raising their their dollars they make. So we have to stay in the game with our employees and pay them well. They have to be paid what for what they do and hopefully your employees are learning as they go right so they're getting more and more skills and we talked right. about that this morning um, you know the people that work here at lawrence technology service they their their skills are through the roof here 
we're always pushing them for more. And then we have to, in the same balance, while I'm pushing it, while I'm helping to pay for classes and anything that they need to give them the resources they need to grow. It's not like I'm just saying grow so so you can keep your job. It's grow. Here's how we make more money. Here's how we can leverage that knowledge you have. But all that comes at a price internally that is then reflected externally to your clients so we can deliver services better. It's just the cycle of things. So it's not really Mm -hmm. a matter at all of should you increase prices. It is a matter of how much. And I don't, I don't, think that it should be unreasonable. Um, Mm -hmm. That is just not an easy formula. It should be not like double your prices, but maybe at least at the very minimum, you have to increase at the cost of inflation, but also the cost of your tooling. It's not directly just because food costs more. I mean, yes, our food bill here is we buy food for people at the office is definitely higher, (laughs) um, but that's not really just the reason I'm increasing it. There's a lot of other factors you have to take in that are very industry specific here in IT. So it's just the way things work right now. I wish, and despite the cloud promising to make things cheaper, everyone that works in IT goes, yeah, that didn't happen. (laughs) uh, uh, It it did change a lot of dynamics, but it's still now just part of the process of these yearly rate increases that we send out and notices we send out to our clients. Right. And there's a process that we follow in doing that. Like you said, it's always about a process and, and how you follow that process. And there's 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 things we do. You want to reach out to me and ask me. We'll talk. Um, yep. Love to love to talk to people and love to love to give our knowledge away in some respects. But we also you know, we want to we want to be helpful out there. But raising your prices is just something you're going to have to do. Yep. I'm not paying the same for gas that I did in 19. 19- <laughs> 90? When, when was 1986 or 87 oh. when I started driving? Yeah. That'll tell you my age right there. I mean, I remember paying 89 cents a gallon. Yeah. Wow. So that, we, I mean, well, we won't reminisce too much about the good old days, but we will. Yeah, nope leave you with something i will throw in the description down below a link to a general template for how we send out price increases uh just kind of a generic letter so for those you struggling for the wording i want to give you some value uh you can use that that phrase we have the beginning will be in there along with some general stuff please customize it to uh the company that you are and put your information on. Don't I enjoyed there. writing that letter. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> okay. Use Brett's words. If you like, it's not copywritten. I I'm, I'm actually giving you permission. <laughs> All right. He gave permission. You heard down this video. Use it as evidence if it ever comes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And thanks. <laughs>